Hello students, I am Tin Nyaneshwara. In the previous class, we have discussed the whole parts of speech. Today, we shall do some activities. Learning objectives of this session is to help students to identify different parts of speech. After watching this video, you will identify different parts of speech. I will show some sentences here. Please identify nouns in these sentences. The elephant has great strength. In this sentence, elephant and strength are nouns. Elephant is common noun, strength is abstract noun. Solomon was famous for his wisdom. Here, Solomon and wisdom are nouns. Solomon is proper noun, wisdom is abstract noun. He gave me a bunch of grapes. Here, bunch and grapes are nouns. Bunch is a collective noun and grapes is a common noun. Now I will show some other sentences. Please point out adjectives in these sentences. I have called several times. In these sentences, several is the adjective. Abdul won the second prize. In this sentence, second is the adjective. He died a glorious death. In this sentence, glorious, glorious is the adjective. In the following sentences, point out the pronouns. Rama, you are a lazy boy. Here, you is the pronoun. You is used instead of Rama. Birds build their nests in trees. In this sentence, there is the pronoun. Point out the verbs in the following sentences. The river flows under the bridge. Here flows is the verb. He is waiting for you in the compound. In this sentence, is waiting is the verb. We have heard a strange story. Here, have heard is the verb. In the following sentences, pick out the adverbs. Try again. In this sentence, again is the adverb. He is too shy. In this sentence, too is the adverb. We rose very early. In this sentence, very is the adverb. Name the prepositions in the following sentences. There is a cow in the field. In this sentence, in is the preposition. A fair little girl sat under a tree. In this sentence, under is the preposition. The book lies on the table. Here, on is the preposition. Point out the conjunctions in the following sentences. Bread and milk is wholesome food. Here, and is the conjunctions. And joins the two words bread and milk. We arrived after you had gone. In this sentence, after is the conjunction. I waited till the rain train arrived. Here, till is the conjunction. Now, let me check your understanding.
I will ask some multiple choice questions. Please try to answer the questions. What part of speech is the word in italics? Mohammedans fast in the month of Ramzan. Option A, adverb. Option B, verb. Option C, adjective. Option D, conjunction. The correct answer is verb. Question number 2. What part of speech is the word in italics? He is the right man in the right place. Option A, adjective. Option B, adverb. Option C, preposition. Option D, conjunction. The correct answer is option A, adjective. Question number 3. What part of speech is the word in italics? I will take some but not all. Option A, adverb. Option B, adjective. Option C, pronoun. Option D, conjunction. Correct answer is option C, pronoun. Question number 4. What part of speech is the word in italics? He is little known here. Option A, verb. Option B, adverb. Option C, adjective. Option D, preposition. The correct answer is option B, adverb. Question number 5. What part of speech is the word in italics? Men fear death as children to go in the dark. Option A, noun. Option B, adverb. Option C, adjective. Option D, conjunction. The correct answer is option D, conjunction. I have referred Rennan Martin's high school English grammar to prepare this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.